Docker has recently been one of the hottest words in the web technology world. But why is it so? Isn't it just another hyper tool that will be forgotten in a year? I've been using Docker for one year to develop and deploy both professional and pet projects. During this year, Docker has been improved a lot and it has become a very cozy tool to easily deal with the development and the deployment of web applications. I find it to be a lot better than my previous stack, which was a tandem of Vagrant and Puppet. I'm giving you five top reasons why I like Docker to encourage you to give it a try. My name is Szymon Skurczyński and I work for Shipstead Tech Polska. First, portability. An intermodal container has revolutionized the cargo transport. Containers can be used across different modes of transport, from ship to rail to truck, without unloading and reloading their cargo. The same idea stands behind Docker. You create a virtual container with an application and its dependencies once, and you can run it on any Linux instance. I mean, your laptop, local server, public or private cloud. It means that, if you want, your local development environment can be exactly the same as the production environment. Of course, you can easily share the environment configuration with your teammates so that all of your team members can have exactly the same uh, configuration, local development uh, configuration. And of course, creating uh, uh, the environment for a new guy in the, team, in the team is fast and easy. Second, isolation. Docker uses resource isolation features of the Linux kernel, such as cgroups or kernel namespaces, so that every container run within a single Linux instance is independent and isolated from both other containers as well as the host machine. It means that you can maintain different development and production environments on one machine without a hassle. For example, you can run different PHP versions, different databases or web servers without the risk that one tool will spoil something in another tool or the host machine. Third, uh, performance. You may say that both isolation and portability can be achieved with vagrant and provisioning tools like Puppet or Ansible. Yes, they can. But one of the most important drawbacks of Vagrant or virtual machines generally is that virtual machines are heavy and often slow. Uh, Docker containers don't include a separate operating system like virtual machines do. Instead, they all share the same Linux kernel and in consequence, the performance of Docker containers is nearly identical to bare metal. An important fact about Docker is that you can run it only on Linux. So if you develop on Mac or Windows, you still need a virtual machine to run Docker. Docker created the additional tool called Docker Machine that creates a transparent virtual machine with Docker Engine on non-Linux operating systems. Even though the work performance of Docker on Windows or Mac won't be uh, a lot better than Vagrant, Still, spinning up and down Docker containers is much faster than uh, starting and stopping virtual machines. What's more, Docker images have light structure, uh, are cached, and can be easily shared, so the provisioning is much faster than with Ansible or Puppet. Fourth, modularity. The idea of Docker is to run only one process on a container. It means that each part of your stack, like a web server or a database, should be run on a separate container. In fact, you can create your Docker environment using different linked together containers the same way you build something with Lego bricks. Thanks to Docker Compose, it is super easy to manage containers in your environment. All you need to do is to find a proper image on uh, Docker Hub or create one by yourself and put its configuration into the Docker Compose YML file. Fifth, community. The popularity of Docker is growing at an enormous pace. It is now uh, 18th most starred repo on GitHub, and it's only 700 starts behind Torvald's Linux repo. On Docker Hub, uh, the ultimate resource of Docker images, there are 86 official uh, Docker images for different tools and thousands of unofficial created by the community. If you want to test out some new framework or tool, it is highly probable that there has been already some image on Docker Hub created for it and it can, it, and it can be easily tried out. 
What's more, there are more than 50,000 of uh, repos on GitHub connected to Docker with, for example, uh, sample Docker Compose uh, configurations or additional tools to Docker machine. I hope that if you had any doubts whether to use Docker or not, these points convinced you to give it a try. Uh, if so, you may want to start your adventure with Docker by following the official Docker user guide. And if you are interested in the real life use case, uh, you may check out my blog posts about developing and deploying WordPress app with Docker. Links are below the video. Thanks for listening. <laughs>